My name is Tony Eber from Youth Science Center for Excellence. How are you doing? Today I want to tell you how to go from where you are now to where you want to go. I want to discuss with you the method you can use to achieve that your goal or that your dream. Today, there are a lot of challenges around us in the world today, facing us, especially facing our teaming youth. Majority of them don't know how to go from where they are now to where they want to go. They don't know how to achieve their dream. They don't know how to achieve their goals. Some of them even don't have goals. Most of them are confused. You ask them, what do you want? You say, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. That is for some of them. Some of them know what they want to do, but they don't know how to go about it. Say, I don't know. Yes, I want to do this, but I don't know how to go about it. Though few of them know what they want, and they know what to do, but they don't know how to take that thing to the next level. So they are in a different categories. Even some of the adults who are in this same situation today because of the economy. You will see some of the adults will lose their job and they don't know how to pick up their body and go to the next stage. There is going to be a lot of obstacle on the way. There will be contour, there will be gallop, there will be potholes. Yes, but you must know how to pick ourselves up from our present situation now to the next level. Because incidentally, all the experience, the knowledge, and the resources that get you to where you are now are not enough to take you to the next one. So what you have to do is to learn and develop the new skill to know how to move to the next step. Because the challenges of today are different from what our father faced. So you have to learn new skills. Now, how do you go from a sport <clears throat> to another one, to a higher level? The youth of today, majority of them, I don't want to say all of them because some of them knew what they do and they know how to move and they are actually moving. And I congratulate those who. But my purpose of today's discussion is to help some of us who actually know what you want to do or who don't know what you want to do. And who, those who, I'm focusing on those who know what to do, but they don't know how to get there today. That's what I want to discuss with you today. And one of the major problems, which is major problem that's holding them, that's 99.9% .9 of them think money is their problem. Well, that's a, oh, Joe, why are you not doing anything? Ah, daddy, I don't have money. Joke, why are you not doing anything? Ah, I don't have money. What do you want to do, Joke? Ah, if I have money, I will know what to do. That's a lie. Kunle, what do you want to do now? Ah, sir, if I have money, I do. I will know what to do. Okay, how much do you need? Like one of them told me this morning. I said, how much do you need to start your business? He said, I need that one billion naira. I said, I laughed. I said, you are, you are joking. You are not ready. I said, those big men you see that are making it today, they don't start their business with one billion, not even one million, not even 500,000. Some of them, actually, most of them don't even start with nothing. I said in the real sense of it, you don't need money to start your business. I know some of you, will work. what do you mean, Tony? What do you mean I don't need money to start my business? That is the truth, and I want to repeat it. You don't need money to start your business. What you need to start any business is an idea. Yes, the first is idea. What do I want to do? Do you need money to know what you want to do? Do you need money to think? Do you want to create a vision? For example, now I want to build a bigger center for Rich Life Center for Excellence. I don't have the physical cash in my pocket now, but I have the plan already. I have the plan. I have what I want to put in those centers, reaching that. Do I need money to do that? I don't need money to do those things. All I need is to think, create the idea, and put them down. Because everything you want to achieve in this life, you create them in three planes. First, in your spiritual mind. Once that idea is dropped in your spiritual mind, your spirit will bring it to your mental mind. Yes, I want to create center for excellence. Yes, what do I need to put there? What do you want to be doing there? I want to be teaching young ones and even the old ones how to become a successful entrepreneur. By starting small, I put a lot of cottage industry there. How to produce soap, how to produce cream, how to grow a mushroom, how to raise grass water, how to raise gravity, how to start 
your business, you are just want to produce black soap. And then you start small, and then you can always upscale it, and sky will not even be your limit. That's what I want to teach. I will give my students an example. After I finished uh, service in 1988, I know what I actually want to do. I know that I want to become a machine fabricator because I studied agricultural engineering in the University of Ibadan. But you know, theory is different from practical. I want to become a successful brand and an entrepreneur and a agricultural machine fabricator. Yes, I was living at Urita uh, Chalet then in Ibadan. And look, I now study those who are fabricating my direct great fabricators in Ibadan then. There is Ella in the uh, gate, there is uh, SRGs in uh, in Wuru. there is Addis Engineering in Lagos. I know I don't have money to keep my self in Lagos. From Urita Challenge, I know I cannot trek to Ella in the uh, gate, neither can I trek to SRGs in uh, Iwuru. So, and I said, like, yes, there is one great fabricator very close to me in New Guy, like Sahara Engineer. I decided I will go to Sahara Engineer. And I went there. And I volunteered myself, sir, I want to work with you. Say, who are you, young man? I said, I'm so sorry, I produced myself. And I studied agricultural engineering in the rest of the battle. And he said, well, go and say, I don't know an engineer. I said, sir, you need me. I will serve you. I want to learn what you are doing. And incidentally, in Smagmonios, after I drove him, on September 1st, 1988, he took me as an apprentice. I said, degree, but immediately I got there, I got into the factory, and I started learning. And by the grace of God, I learned for four years. And he made me one of his production engineer, and he gave me a good salary. Assuming I went there, certain negotiation salary, like the young young boys of nowadays, when they come to your company, they want to work. The first thing they ask is, how much are you going to pay you? Pay you for what? If you have a value by acquiring skin, I can pay you any amount of money. So the first point of entrance is for you to learn how to acquire skin. For example, one of my friend and a mentee, he said, Daddy, I want to be a baker. I want to be producing bread. I say, well, you want to produce bread? What is stopping you? You say, I don't have money. I say, money is not your problem. You don't have an idea. In your area, do you have any bakery there? He say, ah, father, in our area, I have four or five bakers around us. I say, fantastic. I say, go, survey the best baker among them. Go and apprentice yourself to one of them. Beg him to take him. If you won't take him, go to the another one. Eventually, one of them will take you. Offer to work for them as a laborer for free. And I know that is a joke because at the end of the month, if you are diligent, they will give you some money. Work for him for one full year or even one and a half years. And I bet him, I say, if you can do that, today is August 27, 2020. I said, before August 2023, you will become a master. And you will get store ideas, Google ideas, that you can even rent a bakery and start. Don't wait until you build your bakery. There are a lot of bakeries that are no more functional. If you can develop a good marketing, I say even find a place to put it. Put your bakery near the place or go to another area and open your bakery. And by the time you know it, you'll have got your skin. Do you know after I worked with Sarah Engineer for four years, I became a great fabricator. And I moved to start my own company, Tropical Development Engineering Limited. Some of you may know it. And the company was doing great work. And in the process, I became the millionaire that I was aspiring to be. So you cannot aspire to be a millionaire in a day and become a millionaire. From there, I was able to build my factory, but I started small. I started with one oil machine in open space with a tapolin over my head. I did not wait until I have all the money in the world before I start. I want to encourage you to start today. Become an apprentice. Use what I call Jacobic system. Do you know Jacobic system? Jacob, after I ran away from the house, go and turn yourself to apprentice of Laban and he learned how to become a great Katu and Shibriara. And from there, he became, he developed his own house. After one month of serving Jacob, uh, Laban, Laban even asked him, not because you are brother, how much will I pay you to work for me? You see, when you start adding value, they will ask you how much you want to pay, be paid, and they will pay you. And Jacob said, give me racket. I will serve for four years. You know, Jacob named his own price. That is what exactly happened to me, Sahara engineers. After working for my guy for one month, my guy looked at me. He said, Tony, go and write an application. I wrote my application on the table of his secretary. And you know, literally, I did go blessed with me. I wrote his, his uh, and he opened my file there and there. At the end of the month, he paid me 350 naira. Can you imagine? I was just a copper yesterday. I was just any 150 naira. And somebody doubled it three times. Because I showed diligence and add value. I did not discuss salary with him. 
I've never discussed his salary increase with him. If you know what you want to do, the first thing is to ask question. Get a mentor. Look at those who are doing it. Because some of you are there on one. If I find you know what, there must be somebody that is doing what you want to do. In fact, there are millions of people who are doing what you do. Look at one. Become an apprentice to him. Don't look at immediate money. Money is kind of what a paper used to reward values. Money is a byproduct. Money in itself cannot come to you if you are not adding value to anything. Even when you win a million naira lottery, if you have not been doing something at all and you have not acquired skills, you are going to waste that money. Bet me. It's like a law. Because immediately you change your status to a millionaire. And uh, if I have a million naira and you're able to sustain yourself, you must be able to turn that million naira to two. And then you are sustainable. But before you know it, you change your status, you change your clothing. In fact, you're going to acquire all the signs, symbols of riches. And that's disaster. So what I want to challenge you, the young one today, apology to some of our graduates. Now, most of them are not employable. So you have to learn ski. Learn ski that will make you employable so that you can add value. When I left school, I know that my skill will not be enough to sustain me when I'm just getting out of school. So I need a mentor who will dream me and give me the knowledge that I need to stand and start earning my own value. So today I want to challenge you to look for a mentor. And that's why I created the group of GES. That's Graduate Employable Scheme, Graduate Entrepreneurship Scheme. And I want you to join that group today. Every day I give you tips on how to become employable on how to start your own entrepreneur and if you become an employer this is possible so you have to there are a lot of things you can do don't let me hear you there, there's no job there's no job there's no there are a lot of job there, there's no work there's no work in nigeria who told you there's work in nigeria you are not looking for work that is the truth of the matter you are looking for money and money is a byproduct without adding value to something you can't even get money money is something i give to you for my persuasion of your contribution to what i'm doing Somebody will come, Daddy, can you pay me 200000 Why not? I can pay you 1 million naira. If you give me, can give me 10 million or 5 million within a month. Why can't you give you 1 million naira? So, I can go to my subject of my focus. It's whatever you bring to the board that you share from it. So, today I want to challenge all the youth to go out there and learn ski. Don't just relax. And like the song we used to sing when we just get out of university then. We are in the Pamanji uh, Drinkers Club then. We we'll sing the night we are going to graduate. Until the early done on us that to count money you have to add value. So today I'm challenging you look for something and add value. If you really don't know what to do, at listening to this video, I want you to call me or you come to me or you WhatsApp me. My number is 080 380 37674. Take that one again 080 380 37674. My name is Tony Eba from Rich Life Center for Excellence. I'm a postal of action. Call me today and I will show you what to do. And I will show you how to get from where you are to where you are going to. God bless you. See you tomorrow.